Hello everyone, welcome back, Nasty Pion here. I hope you've had great holidays. I wish for you all a new year. Today my first video of the year is gonna be about Geltech. I will show you which mount to focus and which one to avoid in order to maximize the mount that you're getting. Before we get started, there's a few requirements before going into Geltech. You need to acquire Geltech points in order to unlock the ability so you have to get them from instances done with friends dailies cyclic all with friends battlefields this is going to give you um here it's going to give you guild tech point so you click on bonus tech point and you can donate whatever the amount depending on the one that you want to increase or if your guild leader is asking you to boost a specific one for example if there's one that is low we're currently using most of the tech at 20 so we're gonna be good for a while so if i was to increase the ape i would click on it and increase it through here donate all the maximum or let's say i put the half of it so once that done in order to learn you you have to use a whole mount so you'll be donating a whole mount if i click here and i say learn i'm gonna use a whole mount it's not sharp so you have to be careful which mounts you're donating because you could get off you could lose a good mount say the saber thing it's called tiger roar you click on that so you have to donate the whole man in order to increase it so right now it's level one i'm gonna use this one it's gonna increase it I'm gonna learn it you're gonna use a little bit of your character's experience then there's a few spec that you can use i prepared uh, a small spreadsheet that you can use so to level up until level 10 you need 18,000 points to level 20, 25,000. That's a total of 43,000. So one mount gives you 100 points if it's green, up to 800 points if it's an orange one. If you use an average of 300 points for hunting, you need to level 10, 60 mounts to level 20, 144 mounts. You can screenshot that. It's pretty much self-explanatory, explaining which one are the good one and why you should do so. To choose the best mounts, I would consider first picking up those with a trigger. So there's a Folly, the Sabretooth, the Shadow Horse, the Hape, and the Phantom Wolf. Because if you click on Learn and you read it properly, the first level starts at 1%, whereas if I compare to the Rex, it starts at 0.2%. Of course, this is um, a flat bonus, whereas the Folly, it's uh, completely different. It doesn't scale the same way. However, placing your first level in all four or five of those, if you don't have the Hape or uh, the Shadow Hearse, it's all right. Just use all the other ones. The same goes for the Hair Tech. You wanna put on the thunder sword first then it goes uh, with the griffin pegasus and phoenix those are scales best then there's the level 100 mounts and there's rex finally you can use if you still have room to increase stuff or you want to increase some you can increase your main ability so if you're a warrior you can use the bear strength uh, agility, the wolves, etc, etc. For my part, what I did or what I'm planning on doing is putting all those at least level 1, so the 5 uh, trigger ability. And uh, I decided to increase the griffin because I was really weak on the um, attack side, offensive side, since I, I'm a new rune mage now so i put this up up to 13 i could have stopped at 20 at 10 and focus on other ability i have this at level 4 it's pretty good i'm gonna try and bring it to uh level 10 and get it to one percent 
twice the damage, deal twice the damage and stun for one second is pretty good. I'm gonna put all those level 5 and work them towards level 10. I will uh, be spending from now on my bomb diamonds on the hunting tickets so I can get that up. So in conclusion, what you want to do is acquire a guild tech point by doing activities with friends and guildmates, especially uh, cycle quests and dailies and instances. You choose the one that you want the most, you donate guild tech point so that your guild leader can increase it, then you hunt the specific mount that then you hunt the specific mount that you need so if it's a phantom wolf you hunt the phantom wolf you click on learn and you increase it that way again it's best to put at least one level in each of those procs then increase uh, those that scales best damage reduction damage increase attack increase flat attack i hope you guys enjoyed my video i'll be making more i was a little bit busy during the early day but i'm gonna be back on schedule at least one or two videos each week so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next